your history Buildings and people and memories and dreams Who better to tell us than those who were there There's so much to learn from the stories they'll share Living history Hello, this is Ted Goldsboro with Living History, and welcome. Nice to have you with us today. We're going to be talking to Frank Weir, a uh, former Lower Marion resident who now lives in Overbrook Farms, mm. Overbrook Hills, Overbrook the Farms, Farms. <laughs> Overbrook Farms, near Our Lady of Lords uh, Church. And uh, Frank's going to tell us about his uh, being in the Korean War and his career, and we'll talk about railroads and the highway department. I thought it'd be interesting for Lorimer and residents to hear both about the Reading Railroad and the Pennsylvania Railroad, since both of them in those days went through Lower Marion. Mm. Of course, now it's Conrail and Amtrak, but mm. uh, we'll hope to uh, share some ideas with you that you hadn't heard before. Uh, Frank, uh, I believe you, you went to the technical school at Lormer High School, and could you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, that's correct. I went there for three years, from 49 to 52, and uh, I was in the, the uh, other part of the building. You're, you're showing the part on School Lane. The, uh, that was, I believe, the electrical and the uh, welding department were in there. Uh, 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 there was a f uh, gentleman by the name of uh, McGrath that was in charge of it uh, when I was there, and uh, uh, it, it was uh, uh, very interesting. I, I thought uh, I enjoyed uh, uh, my three years there. It was well, half a day. Uh, okay. The other half day was in the uh, the high school. With so the, you took regular uh, academic uh, subjects, uh, yeah, but then uh, you had a yeah, specialty. Yeah, in yes, yes. Okay. Uh, now what was cut out? I mean, what what did they have well, that you didn't have? Uh, well, we didn't have either Latin or languages, uh, for one thing. Uh, uh, we had uh, a technical uh, a, a math that was uh, related to the to uh, machine design and, and uh, other subjects uh, that would be of use to people in uh, in the the building trades. Mm -hmm. But uh, so um, anyhow. When I graduated from there in, in 52, uh, I got a job right away with the Pennsylvania Department of Highways, uh, the, the, the District 6 office, which was on the top floor of the Pennsylvania Bank uh, building in Ardmore at the time, and was there for about a year. And then, uh, uh, of course, the Korean conflict was on, and uh, I got uh, drafted. Uh, mm -hmm went through basic training, uh, and that was sort of interesting. Uh, halfway, after you finished basic, uh, basic, basic training, uh, they, they let you go home for a week, and believe it or not, uh, I got the measles, or, or mumps, sorry, oh, not measles, oh, mumps, oh, and it was quarantined for oh, about two weeks, oh. so I, I missed that group. Uh, oh, I, when I went back, I had to go with another group. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In, in the same oh, Fort sure. Belvoir, and uh, down in Virginia, uh, yes, uh -huh. uh, just outside of Washington. Now, what what was your job in the highway department? Yeah, uh, well, I'm a draftsman. A draftsman. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we now, now, uh, tell me about quarantine because we yeah. don't do that anymore. No. What was no. that? Well, uh, I, I knew I had some problem. I didn't know what it was, so they called the doctor in and. He said, "Well, you're not going anywhere. You're gonna, you, you're quarantined. You you couldn't leave the house. Uh, Why? And, and uh, well, because it was contagious. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so now, could people come and visit you? Uh, not well, they at their no. I guess yeah. at, at their yeah. peril. Did you but, have, uh, did you have signs? We used to have uh, signs. Well, in we, we were so far out in the country oh, that yeah. they didn't. They didn't bother with it. Yeah. Uh, however, I, I did have earlier on when I lived in the city." Uh, I, I had something even worse that was scarlet fever, oh, yeah. uh, and that was really bad. But yeah. uh, uh, anyhow, uh, 
So uh, now, now why don't kids get these things today? Well, uh, we all have uh, Inoculation. inoculations okay. for the various things. Okay. But, uh, they they still do occasionally. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, yes. Yes. Uh, people that that catch it overseas and bring it in mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. uh, and now, Frank, uh, when you were in the service, what was your yeah. job? Well, uh, yeah, okay, when I went in, uh, they, they give you a whole bunch of tests, uh, and uh, I had a, a very high rating for uh, uh, various uh, uh, parts of, of uh, uh, and design uh, uh, for uh, drafting and so forth. Uh, and uh, so, uh, when I finished the 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 uh, the other part of the basic training, the the advanced part, uh, uh, and then you were all uh, uh, given ass uh, assignments uh, to go overseas, uh, and. Uh, for some reason, I was never sent to Korea, so I'm technically a, a vet of, of Korea, but that's all. And uh, there was several of the 200 that were in the uh, in that training group. Uh, there was about six of us that went to Austria, and uh, I was one of the lucky ones uh, to to uh, because of the as I said the. Uh, battery of tests they gave you and my background in the in the lower marion school and the highway department they th thought i was f uh, 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 featured for a uh, uh, a replacement in in austria uh, drawing uh, maps uh, mm -hmm. and it, and it was the uh, engineering topographic uh, mapping company that that i was assigned to uh, in Salzburg, Austria. So, uh, was there a United uh, States Army base there? Yes, they were there. They were an occupation army, exactly oh. like Germany. Oh. Only uh, the Austrians got extremely lucky. In, in 1955, somehow they got the Russians to agree to to to, to uh, leave. Uh, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it was a four power thing: uh, Russia, uh, U.S. Britain and France, and and they all had sections of the country, oh. and and then all four oh. of them were in Vienna, just oh. like Berlin. Oh, only, the, of course, the Germans uh, uh, couldn't. Uh, uh, they were there for forever, virtually mm -hmm. until well, until 1989. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it seemed like it. forever to them. So, so sure, Austria was partitioned. Austria, it was partitioned. Oh, I didn't yeah, oh yeah, that. and. Um, yeah, it's not. It's little known, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I was extremely lucky to get uh, uh, to go there, mm -hmm. uh, and and. Uh, now how many years in the army? Uh, two years. Two years. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, being drafted. That's mm -hmm. that was the standard. Uh, now, did you get uh, some leave time? You could travel yeah. around. Oh yeah, yeah, Good. we did, Good. Uh, uh, and you could even travel as a, in civilian clothes, uh, mm -hmm. which was nice. You could go off the base every weekend. We'd spend in a place called. Back to Scott, oh, which was uh, yeah. Hitler's favorite <laughs> yeah, place. Right. With uh, his uh, woman friend. Yeah, yeah. Eva. Yeah. Eva, yeah. yeah now, so. Frank, uh, let's transition <coughs> into railroads. All right. Uh, what did you do for a career? Yeah, well, I, uh, I was, again, started as a draftsman for the Pennsylvania Railroad at 30th Street uh, in, in 1958. But before that, uh, uh, for for three years, I went to Temple University, uh, and and had a an associate degree in uh, in mechanical design, which I never worked at, but uh, it was all civil engineering that that I did for the railroad. But uh, um, so, uh, what now, kind of? Well, wait. Do we have draftsmen today? Well, yeah, but uh, but they were they. It's all e electronic. Computer, uh, it's all computerized CAD, CAD okay, system. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, yeah. Frank, when you were a kid, yes, before your career, right? Uh, were you interested in railroads? Uh, yes, and uh, I would often uh, uh, go down to the the railroad there at, at along the Schuylkill uh, in Lower Marion and uh, take photos of the trains going past. Uh -huh. and, and and that was an overview of uh, in the. Uh, 
in the middle of the winter, as you can tell, of the Schuylkill Valley near where I was, uh, and uh, looking uh, uh, towards uh, uh, Manny Unk, uh, and uh, the the freight yard is in the middle ground. Uh, What's and, in that freight yard now? Uh, uh, well, it's the Lower Marion uh, uh, Leaf recycling <laughs> plant. Uh, Leaf yeah, disposal exactly, or something. Yeah. yeah, we got to watch our time. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, that that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a uh, landslide that they had near Penn Coyd in in I think it was thirty nine. That's right. Uh, but that that's the the. Uh, I, I did go out, however, when I worked later for the Reading. Uh, uh, when I worked there and, and investigate accidents for several years. Okay. Years. And, so, this and, and that was an accident that I had uh, no, no part of. Right. But, uh, but it's uh, interesting because the yeah, rail car yeah, says yeah. Reading. Yes, that's right. And, and, and it was the, uh, the, the wreck train that, that they uh, uh, had to get out and, and uh, re remove this um, uh, uh, rock slide that right. happened there. And you said they're cranes, the, like they yeah, were? Yeah, locomotive cranes, uh, and uh, that's what they were using to uh, remove, to the, move stone. the stones. Yeah, and, yeah. okay. Um, and that's just a, a, a locomotive and caboose uh, that was uh, uh, coming towards you, as you can tell by the smoke, uh, that, that uh, delivered uh, uh, local uh, freight cars to uh, various uh, Places along, I think it was stationed in Bridgeport, but okay. uh, and it, it delivered uh, uh, cars to uh, the, along the railroad there, all the way to, uh, I believe, West Falls. But, Didn't uh, you say that Alt House? Yeah, the coal yard at Alt. Yeah, at, okay. at Mill Creek. Yeah, Alt House is that a was Lower one Marin, of them. Yeah, Lower yeah. Marion name. Yeah, and they yeah. later got into the fuel oil business. Yes, that's right. But, but they uh, had tell what they had in Lower Marion in yeah, these days. Yeah, they had a, a coal yard there, coal trestle at, at Gladwin, was that was what it was called. Uh, so a hopper uh, car and, would and, yeah dump. they they would de deliver it there and then they'd uh, dump it into the, um, the coal bins below and uh, and then uh, into the trucks. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so it had they had delivery, I guess maybe, oh every couple of weeks or okay. so, depending on. Uh, why why was there a caboose then mm, and not yeah, now? Yeah, well uh, now uh, of course then you had to have a five man crew on every train. Uh, you had to have some place uh, for them to to get in out of the weather and and uh, also to to watch the uh, the the rest of the train. They could sit up in the cupola. And and see uh, ahead. Uh, okay. And of course, everything then was was done with uh, with uh, people. Uh, and, now, Frank, and, uh, uh, we're we're getting into one of these break times. Oh, oh okay. So yeah. we got to take a little yeah. break, and then we'll All come right. back uh, and talk some more with Frank Weir. And this is Ted Goldsboro, and we'll be right back.